Okay, first grade, so on day two, after your sunrise or sunset watercolor wash is dry, we're gonna add a scene in front of it, and it's called a silhouette scene because you don't see any of the inside details, you only see the outline. It's almost like a shadow. So we looked at some silhouette pictures, and so now here's an example of what one might look like. So you draw, I drew palm trees and a beach chair and a beach umbrella and then the beach. And I drew it in pencil first, went over the outline with marker and then colored them in like they're shadows. And I can still see some of my pencil here. So the very last step you need to do is go back and erase any pencil lines that are poking out. But this is one type of scene you could do. You could do the St. Louis skyline with the arch. You could do a cityscape. Or, since it's close to Halloween time, you could do a Halloween scene. And I have some how to draw sheets here. And if you look at the top of the how to draw sheet, you can see that they each have a silhouette scene shown. So you can use these how to draw sheets to do a Halloween silhouette scene if you'd like. So for instance, a how to draw sheet shows you step by step by step on what to do. And how this one works is down here at the bottom, it shows you the elements that you're going to. So we're gonna use the letter M, two letter O's, and two dots. And that's where you start. You see the letter M at the top, the two O's, and then the two dots. Then we're moving on and adding a big upside down B to create eventually a bat. Here, this is step one all the way through, then all the way down here to here. You know you've reached the end when you reach the character that's colored in black. Um, we've got Frankenstein, uh, driving a car. We have Frankenstein here walking either looking forward with his arms or looking straight ahead and a smile. On this one we have a wicked witch <coughs> flying on a broom or a wicked witch on a rocket ship or just a wicked witch with her broom standing. Got a black cat, two different kinds of black cats. So there are lots of things for you to choose from from these packets. Whatever you'd like. And you can draw your little scene across your sunrise or sunset. So I'm going to start with my pencil and I'm going to pick a character. But the first thing I'm going to do is draw the ground. So you can see like on this silhouette scene there's a wavy ground and then it looks like maybe there's some tombstones. And then um, this one's very similar and it looks some, like some grass. And then this one's just a total sky scene. So if you don't want to do the ground down here and you just want to do witches and bats flying in the air, then you don't have to do the ground. And um, I think I'm going to do the ground. And I'm going to draw just kind of a wavy line across. And then I'll use my black marker to trace that line. And then I'm going to add some grass. And now I need to color this in. Now to color it in with this tiny tipped marker might take a while. So you might want to get like a chisel tip marker that has a nice fat tip to it and use the side of it to color this in. Okay, now I want you to make sure you use a juicy marker that works. So if you get any markers that are kind of grayish, please throw them away. Only use good markers. So now I think I'm going to put a witch flying on her broom. So if I follow the steps, I start with a triangle, and then a rectangle, and then a long line, a nose, another triangle for the jaw. Now I'm on this step here with the hands or the arms. And they're just made up shapes and lines. So this how to draw packet tries to make it as easy as possible by just using shapes and lines. Okay, so I didn't make this hand go down far enough because it should be holding the broom. So I need to erase that. And this is why we draw it in pencil first so we can make it the way we want. Okay, and the last step is to color it in. So I'm going to use my small fine tip sharpie to color this in nice and neat. Okay, so there's my witch flying in the sky. And I drew it pretty big because if I draw my items pretty big, then I don't have to draw very many of them. But if I draw all my little 
uh, Halloween character small and tiny, then I have to draw more to fill the space up. So I think now I'm going to do a skeleton who's dancing. Okay, so that one I drew without drawing in pencil first. So if I had made a mistake, I would have had to make it work. So that's why I suggest you draw it in pencil first so you can erase if you made a mistake. And on my witch, I did make a mistake with my hand and I didn't make it big enough. So I was glad that I had drawn it in pencil first. All right, and then you're just going to keep drawing things either from the Halloween packet or whatever scene that you wanna draw. You're just gonna keep drawing those over and over and over again until you fill the space. So you're gonna keep adding stuff until your whole sunrise or sunset is filled up and you have a nice silhouette scene of your choice.